If you are a European brand that's using Shopify to sell your products and you are struggling with taxes, this video is for you. Whether you are selling just locally or if you are selling to other European countries or if you are selling internationally, in this video, I will show you how to set up your taxes properly. I will try to break down this process and make it as simple as possible. And everything I'm telling you in here is based on my experience working with European brands and Shopify stores. Just a small disclaimer before we start this video. I'm not a tax expert, so everything I'm telling you in here is based on my experience working with other brands. Taxes can get very complicated and they can change depending on where you are selling, where your business is registered, what type of products you sell, and many other things. So please make sure to double check all of your settings and obligations with a qualified tax advisor or accountant in your country, especially when it comes to OSS and IOSS and international shipping. Before anything, you need to be clear on who you are selling to. And then here you have two different types of customers and each one of them will have different type of rules. First, you have the AU countries. And for those customers, you are going to charge most probably that depending on their country's rates. Remember, we are talking in here about a business that's originally located in Europe. Next, you have the international non-AU customers. And for those, you won't be charging any taxes, but still those customers might be paying VAT and duties when they receive the orders. Shopify handles these two types of customers differently, and you need your setup to reflect this. First, let's start talking about the European customers. If your business is located in a European country and you are selling to other European countries, in this case, you must collect VAT. And you collect the VAT differently depending on the customer's country. And your VAT percentage will differ from one country to another. Shopify can handle all of this if you do the setup the right way. In your Shopify dashboard, go to settings and then go to taxes and duties. Add your country and your VAT registration number. Then add the European Union as a region and enter your OSS number. I will explain in a moment why OSS is required in here, but before that, I must tell you what this setup is going to help you achieve on Shopify. By doing this setup correctly, you will allow Shopify to detect your customer's location, apply the correct VAT rate, show VAT included prices and the proper receipts. What is OSS and why it is required? If your cross-border AU exchanges exceed 10,000 euros per year, you must collect VAT depending on your customer's countries. And in this case, you either use the OSS or you need to register in every single European country. OSS stands for One Stop Shop and it is required again when you exceed 10,000 euros per year. The alternative is going to be to register in all the European countries, which is not practical at all. So as a summary, for your local customers, you need your VAT number for the business registered in your country. For other European countries, you need the OSS or the one-stop shop in order to collect VAT depending on your customer's countries. Again, we are only talking about European countries. Now let's talk about international customers and how you can handle them. If you are a European business and you are selling to countries outside of Europe, so USA, UAE, UK, or any of these countries, you are not going to charge for VAT. But your customers might still pay VAT or duties when they receive the orders. To manage this at Shopify level, you need to do the following. You need to use Shopify markets. From your settings, go to markets and enable price adjustments and tax display per market. In this way, you can show VAT included pricing for your AU customers and VAT excluded pricing for your international customers. Remember, in order to get everything right, you need to do the two setups. First, a setup for your AU countries with the VAT and the OSS, and second, the setup for the international customers. And in this way, you will get everything correct and clear on your store. Now I want to talk about a special case like with Switzerland. Switzerland is a country that's in Europe, but it's not in the United European thing. So in this case, things can be a little bit different. So if your business is in Switzerland, for example, you must collect VAT for your local customers based on your Switzerland VAT number. But for European countries, you must do something we call IOSS, which is import one shop stop. And this number is also very essential in order to collect VAT all across Europe based on the VAT percentage of each of your customers' countries. 
The other alternative would be to skip registering for an IOSS and in this case, let your customers pay for their duties and taxes, which can be a little bit frustrating because your customers are going to pay extra charges and they are still ordering within Europe. Now, the only problem here is that IOSS only works for orders below 150 euros. So if you are selling something more expensive, you must find another solution and we are going to discuss it now. So the first option would be to have an AU VAT registration. If you're VAT registered in any AU country, in this case, you can set up this within Shopify and collect VAT rate for each AU country. The second option would be not to have an AU VAT registration. If you are not registered, in this case, you can simply skip setting this up. And in this case, AU customers will see the net price and will be charged VAT plus any imported duties upon delivery. This is still a common approach for many international stores, especially in early stages. Now, in case you don't want to do an AU VAT registration and you don't want your customers to pay for VAT and duties when they receive the item, you have also another solution and it is to work with a DDP delivery duty paid couriers. In this case, what you can do in order to save your margins and your profits is to include VAT in your product prices and then pay yourself for taxes and duties. When you have the setup placed correctly, this is what your customers are going to see and this is what Shopify is going to do. First, Shopify is going to detect the buyer's location. Second, Shopify is going to apply the right VAT depending on the customer's location or the customer's country. And third, Shopify is going to display the tax breakdown at the checkout with the receipt. But this only works if you've done the following. First, you've added the right VAT ID per region. Second, you've configured your markets properly. So make sure to double check your settings for every region where you are selling. The next thing that you need to keep in mind that VAT changes depending on the products you are selling and on the countries where you are selling. For example, food, books, and medicine usually have reduced VAT. Luxury goods like perfume and jewelry usually have a standard VAT. But Shopify is going to apply the same standard VAT for all of your products, unless you use a third-party app to manage taxes or you manually override it. Taxes can be a very complicated topic. And again, a disclaimer, I'm not a tax expert. That's why I highly recommend you to double check everything you have learned in this video with a tax expert in your country. Make sure that you are following your country's rules and other countries' rules as well. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope it will help you to make this complicated matter a little bit more simplified. Please let me know in the comment section below if you found this video valuable or if you have more insight and more information about taxes. And I would be more than happy to reply, to learn from you or to help you out. Since we are done with taxes, the next video I recommend you to watch is this one. In this video, I show you how to set up international shipping rates so you can sell in all markets and in all countries. Don't forget to check it out and see you there.